founded in 1979 by the Bick family of Bick Pen fame. Bick Sport grew from a passion for water sports and world-renowned expertise in sustainable manufacturing. Visit BickSport.com and learn more about our full range of water sports products. Congratulations on choosing stand-up paddling as your way to get fit. I'm Jodelle Fitzwater with BIC SUP and today it's all about the basics of how to get fit with your board on the water. What you need to know, what equipment you need and so forth. Stand-up paddling is stroking its way across oceans, lakes, rivers and even ponds and so it's a very accessible way no matter where you are to get out and get fit. Um, a few things you're going to need to know though as far as equipment and working within Mother Nature. If your gym is going to be out on the water, obviously you're going to want to know what the weather is. So keep in mind the air temperature, what's the temperature for the day, what's the water temperature, do you need a wetsuit, um, what's the wind speed, if it's really, really windy, there's a few things you're going to want to use or maybe skip that day. Also, what are the ocean conditions if you're going out into open water? What's it going to be? Is the, is the current up? Is the swell up? Those are all the things you're going to want to keep in mind. So knowing that is going to get you really a great workout on the water as well as keeping safe. So a few things you're going to want to have on your board if you're going to stay safe out on the water. Specifically a leash. You get out on that water and the, and the board gets away from you when you fall, you're definitely going to want to have that leash on to keep you close to your board at all times. Another great thing to have is what I have here is the little MTI PFD. It's a waste pack personal flotation device that I can instantly inflate if I need it. Um, good to have on your board just in case you need it. It also has a whistle in case you get into any kind of trouble out there. Um, another thing you're going to want to have obviously is a paddle and a board that fit you well. Basically that's sized up to you so you're out there and you're doing, you're having a good time with a board that fits you and your body. Um, other equipment such as an anchor is a really great idea. I have an anchor here that I just picked up a few things at the hardware store to throw together and throw into the water that keeps me in the same location so I'm not blowing around and constantly trying to change my positioning while paddling. Also keep in mind that having a buddy system is a really good idea. Maybe not doing the workout on your own, plus it gives you a little more motivation to get out there and work out together. If you do go it alone though, make sure you have maybe your phone in a dry sack or some sort of a waterproof casing that you can take with you in the event of an emergency. Also it's great to have some nice clothing. What's the weather going to be for the day? Are you going to need warm weather clothing, even possibly a wetsuit? Uh, compression gear is really nice, like what I'm wearing here. The two times you compression wear is a really great thing to have because it increases circulation as you're working out, so it gives you a better workout. Um, as well as proper shoe wear. If you don't like to go barefoot, you might like to try the body glove little shoes I have here. Those are a good thing to keep on the board. They'll keep you from slipping around too much. Um, as well as some sort of clothing that contains SPF, so like the compression wear has an SPF of 50. Um, hydration is really important as well. Make sure you have either some sort of a camelback, a hydration pack, a water bottle on your board. Stay hydrated while you're out there because you can easily overheat when you're on the water. Another good tool is having a resistance band on your board and I'm going to be taking you through that in some of the workout segments, what you can do with the resistance band. So it's an optional tool, not necessary, but it's really fun and really great to add a little more resistance to your training. Normally we're going to be using our body as resistance as well as the board, maybe sometimes utilizing the paddle, but in this case it's just another great tool to have with you. So now that you have all the gear and all the information about how to get out there and get fit, it's time to get started and get into your warm-up. That's going to happen in our next segment, so stay with us as we go through a whole entire warm-up to get you ready for the water. Visit BicSUP.com and check out the full range of stand-up paddle boards, paddles, and accessories. 